Hey YouTube, um, let's see if I can get through this video without being interrupted, I doubt it. Cause I'm sitting outside because it feels so nice here in Florida the past two weeks we've been here, it's felt wonderful. But I'm sitting outside and my puppy is wanting lots of lovin's. And she's got her head laying on my leg. See? Say hi to the camera. <laughs> All right, get out of mama's lap. Get out of mama's lap. Look. Look at the camera. Okay, get down. Ugh. <sighs> okay, sorry. Anyhow, that's one of two of my babies. I have another one, but okay, whatever. Anyhow, I know I promised y'all a video yesterday after my doctor's appointment, and I was totally going to do it, but when I got back home, I went to sleep, and I slept, and I woke up, and then I'd fall back asleep, and I've just been so exhausted. So, um, I think instead of making a video tomorrow as well, I'm just going to make two videos today. Step back. Go. Anyhow, I can't, I have a screen man porch, but I can't close my door and put my dogs out because then the one of the screens right here is broke from the bottom and they'll just jump through there. So, but anyhow, doctor's appointment yesterday. Um, Got there a little early, but better early than late. Got to go in the room and see Nashay's baby. And she, she is so cute and so, it was just amazing to see it. Um, me and Nashay's on the It's a Girl, but her husband's on It's a Boy. And my husband has decided to join the crowd too now and say that her baby's a boy. So, whatever. But whenever it was time for my ultrasound, we didn't, we wasn't able to get any printed off because the baby is so little, like, you could barely see the baby. I'm thinking that I am like, thinking that I'm like, five weeks and five days today which would make me five weeks and four days yesterday so it's really 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 teeny and my husband was like I don't see anything and then the nurse pointed to the baby and he was like oh well it's a peanut and she was like no it's probably smaller than that but good news is we did get to see the baby in the sack so, that cleared my mind a lot. Because last time we went and got an ultrasound, um, April of last year, the sack was empty. And that was our very first ultrasound. So, But because we didn't get to actually see baby, because baby was so small, and we didn't get any ultrasounds printed off, Nache is going back on March the 15th. And the lady told me that I could go back as well and get another free ultrasound done to make sure baby's growing on the right path and everything since I probably won't have a doctor's appointment between now and then. And hopefully we'll have pictures printed out then. So March the 15th. I guess I'm telling y'all Nache's story too. So anyhow, um... With symptoms, to start with, the only symptom I had was I was peeing a lot. I mean a lot. But that's slacked up a little bit. I'm not peeing every five minutes like I told y'all in the earlier video. But now, symptoms from the time I found out I was pregnant until now would be the peeing have had an increase in appetite, but 
whatever I eat, I get full really quick. So it's not like I'm eating a huge meal. But I do eat every couple of hours. Um, I have had food cravings, but they've been weird. I wanted one day, I wanted nothing but lemons. Lemons, I was dying for lemons. So I ended up going to Taco Bell and getting a pink lemonade, and that soothed that. Then, uh, two, three or four nights ago, I wanted chocolate. It just all of a sudden came over me. It's like 10 o'clock at night, and I just wanted chocolate. So I went to the store and got a candy bar. Today, I've been wanting some weird something, like fruity tasting. So I ate me some Fruity Tootie cereal, and that made it better. And also, for some reason, I've been wanting tuna. I usually don't eat tuna. I usually don't eat any kind of seafood at all, but I've been wanting tuna lately, so. So, peeing a lot, the appetite, the cravings, my boobs have gotten, they're a lot firmer and they're heavier and they've just gotten bigger and I've had bloating not bad bad but some days are worse than others and today well not it's not really today it's been going on for a couple of days now but it's gotten really bad today and I'm going to let y'all know right now, this is a lot of TMI right here. So if you don't want to know TMI, go ahead and click out of this video, giving y'all fair warning. But I'll go to the restroom, I'll wipe, and then go to the restroom and pee. And wipe, and then a little while later, I'll feel wet. And I'm like, I get nervous and go back to the bathroom because I think it's blood I just get really nervous, and it's just clear wetness, and I've looked it up, and it's totally normal, it's when your hormones are changing, but that's my new symptom for now, mm. and what else, it's tiredness, oh man, it is kicking my butt, never slept so much in my life. I thought I slept a lot last time I was pregnant. This time, it's horrible. I'll wake up, stay awake for an hour, take a nap, wake up, stay awake for an hour, take a nap, and at night I'm still ready to go to bed. So, it's crazy. And gas, steel with the burping real bad. Hmm. Other than that, not much has been going on. Yeah, not much else has been going on. Still ready for March 15th. So we go to the other ultrasound. And Monday, I have to call TRICARE to see if they gave me a primary health care provider. Because I called yesterday when we got back from the doctor and... They ended up giving me a provider back in North Carolina. Hello, I'm in Florida. Why are you giving me a doctor from North Carolina? So, they have to redo all that paperwork. So, they told me to call back Monday. But besides that, that's about all. I guess. Yeah. I'm not going to do belly shots. Number one, because I don't want to. Number two, because after like a month, I'm going, like I have my four week baby, my four week belly shot and my five week belly shot. I'm going to have my six week belly shot. My seventh week, my eighth week, my ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. And then I'm going to post them all on my Facebook and then... That'll be all of my first trimester, and then all of my second trimester. At the end of my second trimester, I'll put it up. And then when baby's born, I'll put my third up. 
so y'all can see the progress through trimesters all together not see one one week and then having to wait till the next week to see the next and not really from week to week seeing a train um a difference but that's about it now this video is like 10 minutes long so love y'all lots and lots of baby dust to everyone keep me updated bye y'all